So this question is a diagram question. Really, any question that provides some visual input, I call a diagram question. More specifically, this is a graph question. So let's read the question and see what we need to do here. So the question says the graph of the linear function f. All right, so that's a hint. Anytime I see that wording in a question, right, linear function, I'm immediately thinking I'm going to probably need to use y equals mx plus b. It's just a force of habit at this point for me. So the graph of the linear function f is shown in the xy plane above. The graph of the linear function g, not shown, is perpendicular to the graph of f. Okay, so what does that mean? Perpendicular to the graph of f and passes through point 1, 3. What is the value of g of 0? Okay, so we're going to use this f of x function to find this unknown g of x function. So how do we do that? So first of all, anytime an equation, anytime a line is perpendicular to another line, that means that the slope of that perpendicular line is the opposite sign, right? So perpendicular will lead to opposite sign and reciprocal slope. So what is the slope of f of x? Well, let's see. To get from here to here, I'm going to go down twice and to the right once. So m is equal to negative 2 over 1 for f of x, which means for g of x, right, m should equal the opposite sign, so positive, and the reciprocal, so 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 for g of x. Okay. So my g of x function is equal to 1 half x plus b so far, right? So this is just using this format here, saying I just found what m is, it's 1 half, I don't know what b is yet. But I do know that it also passes through the point 1 comma 3, right? Which tells me that when x is 1, y is equal to 3. So I can replace g of x with 3, right? Because g of x and y are the same thing. Replace x with 1. And what I'm left with here, right, 3 equals 1 half plus b, what I'm left with after subtracting 1 half from both sides is that b is equal to uh, 2 and a half as a mixed number, but I can write that as 5 halves as an improper fraction. So I'm going to take, take some space here right under the question. So what I'm left with is g of x is equal to 1 half x plus five halves. But the question wants me to find g of zero. So g of zero is equal to one half, replace x with zero, plus five halves. In doing so, one half times zero is zero, which means that g of zero is equal to five halves. So there is the answer to the question.